Hi everyone. Well, um, it's been a little while and um, unfortunately that is because my phone died, which was my, I was going to say main camera, only camera. Um, so um, there hasn't been any videos for a little while. Um, but, uh, and in fact, this um, thing I'm working on here and amongst other things, I had a bunch of other videos that weren't backed up so sadly we've lost all those um anyway so i'm going to try and um backtrack a little bit over this one and catch you up to where we got to with it and well what i found initially on it as well okay so we'll we'll start there so here we have an onkyo I think that's how you say it, I guess, uh, C7030 CD player. Um, and um, yeah, basically it came in with um, buttons on the front panel acting erratically. So you press uh, one of the options, say play button, and something completely different would occur. So you press play and it pauses or ejects and you press pause and it does something completely else um so yeah it was completely haywire so i thought what i'd do first would with this one was to um just get the lid off and well actually first of all i did test that it was doing <laughs> what they said it was doing and sure enough it did uh, anyway i took the lid off had a little look inside Thought I'd do all the obvious, um, check the lens over, give that a quick clean, just see if there's anything else obvious inside. So we've done the, the, the basics then really, but uh, none of that helped of course. And um, following that, I had to um, get this front panel off. And that was a bit of a pig as well actually, um, because it's not a front panel, it's two front panels because um, I was trying to get the front off and to get access to the um, the board that would where all the uh, buttons live and uh, noticed it was screwed from the inside so <laughs> um, yeah it was a bit of a puzzle but um, we got there eventually um, and managed to take that apart it's only just temporarily pushed in there at the moment and um, so there's not really an awful lot of different things to go wrong, um, really. So um, I've been, I decided I would set about changing the main buttons on there. So e eject, pause, play, and stop, because they're the ones you're going to be using constantly. I would say probably a lot of the others you'd only use with a remote with a remote control, I guess. Anyway, I thought I'd try those first. Um, and I was measuring the um, switches as they go, and they, some of them were a little, a touch high resistance when they were uh, when the button was closed. So um, yeah, seemed a bit funny. Anyway, um, plus the 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 push action was not very positive. It's kind of a bit spongy and not a, a nice solid click. Not like you've got uh, on these now. If, we, if I just press one of these now, you might be able to hear that. Um, it's very, very clear and nice, positive click. Uh, anyway, um, so, but um, I've powered this up and it does seem to be working perfectly well now. So um, I'm not going to just leave it like that though, I'm going to um, test it to, well not to destruction, <laughs> don't think you'd like that, um, but um, I'm going to keep going for a while and just keep switching everything, just keep trying, trying it at different times, leave it running for a while and just see if I can make it fail again. Um, but either way, I think I will just change the other uh, four buttons on the front anyway, because why not, really, um, since I'm in there anyway, and um, they do seem pretty, not very good really, actually, I would say. So I think we'll replace the lot while we're there. Um, 
and then see how we go. I think I think we might be good though, to be honest. But um, we'll we'll see how we go, and then I've got to work out how to uh, um, put the front panel completely back together again, which I'm sure will be wonderful fun. So I just thought I'd show you in here. Um, here we have our final few buttons being replaced and uh, obviously I'll clean the board up afterwards, always do that. Don't want to leave gloopy, flaxy mess inside, do we? And um, that's the rest of the inside of the unit. But anyway, I thought I'd just show you the work as we've been going along. So, last few little tests. Um, so here we go, we'll press the play button. Appears to be playing. Not going through an amplifier or speaker by the way, but that's by the by. Now, pause button would sometimes make it stop. That's fine. Stop would make it skip. Stop is stopped. Yep. That's good. Well, I can't make it fail. And when I had it before, it's a shame I wasn't able to show you how it was before, but um, it was definitely <laughs> very noticeable how it was before, but um, yeah, that all seems good. So, I think it's a case of ship it. Hi, so um, there we have it. Um, it's a relatively simple job and, uh, you know, at, at least um, it shows you that um, um, that the buttons are a, a, a bit of a go-to for this sort of problem, I hope. I hope it shows you that anyway. Um, so I would have liked there to have been a little bit more detail, but as I said at the start, we, we lost a load of footage. So um, I hope it might have been a little bit useful anyway. So um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.